Ramaphosa's net worth amounts to billions of rands, yet he fails to save the ANC from liquidation. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. John Swaina TV. Please subscribe. Ramaphosa's net worth amounts to billions of rands, yet he fails to save the A ANC from liquidation. President Cyril Ramaphosa is currently facing immense pressure to save the African National Congress ANC from the potential destruction. However, it is important to acknowledge that he alone cannot single-handedly rescue the party. Recent revelations have exposed the ANC staggering debt of 1 or 2 million, which must be settled to avoid the liquidation. This shocking news has sparked a strong reaction from the public, leading the court to issue a liquidation and attachment order in an attempt to prevent the enforcement of this order the ANC has displayed a lack of respect for the law which unfortunately as aligns with its past behavior it is crucial to recognize that the Ramaphosa administration has already encountered numerous challenges people are questioning why the ANC does not simply pay off the debt especially considering that the president himself is financially capable of doing so. The Palapala farm incident and Ramaphosa's expensive house have also been brought up in discussions further fueling the public's skepticism despite these concerns it appears that other ANC leaders, including former ones, are not willing to provide assistance in resolving the party's financial crisis. ANC spokesperson Mahlengi Bengo has made it uh, abundantly clear that the party will not allow itself to be liquidated under any circumstances. However, it is unlikely that Ramaphosa will address this issue unless prompted by journalists or other external pressures. The future of the ANC hangs uh, precariously in the balance and it remains to be seen whether President Ramaphosa can navigate these challenges and save the party from uh, potential destruction. The ANC's survival depends on a collective effort from its leaders and members as well as a commitment to transparency and accountability. Only through a united front and a genuine commitment to change can the ANC hope to overcome this crisis and regain the trust of the public. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. John Swaina TV. Please subscribe. Bye for now. Till we meet next time. Please subscribe. Thank you to our lovely subscribers. We aim to bring you higher professional universal updates on news, entertainments and higher lifestyle education and art. Thanks for your helping hand. Yours in love Wahina TV.